So it's the 23rd of August. It's been a very busy week with cat dog. And we're going to go over some crypto news. So Bitcoin's up a little bit, which is nice. 4% in seven days. If not so much, 1% in seven days. So same, same kind of realm. So even though we set some stink bids potentially at like 110, 120, they were not hit. For me, that's just sitting there because they can certainly come there. Last 24 hours, nothing in the top 100 has done anything uh, too incredible. And with trending tokens, there's still a lot of Sun, like Justin Sun slash Tron coins, which I'm just not a f just not fond of. I'll show you one as a quick example. You see this and you think, wow, that's so good. This was the first project that kind of tried to replicate DeFi farming on Tron. And as soon as he pulls liquidity, which is very quickly, just nothing. And now it's bumped up ever so slightly. Anyway, next bit of news. So this is from my researcher, okay? My researcher is putting this in because he finds it's rel relevant and I think it's relevant too. Still, I'm getting a lot of things on like left versus right. This is relevant crypto news. Some people are going to find it's an opportunity. Some people do not like Trump so much that they won't even join a Telegram group. And that's fine. If Kamala Harris had a Telegram group, and if Joe Biden had a telegram group that someone would run, I would join that, right? If there was going to be like some potential plus EV nature to it, I'd be all for it. Anyway, uh, Donald Trump teases a crypto project. That's the headline. This was done on True Social. Uh, it links to the Defiant 1S. It's time we stand together. And this is his True Social. It is a real thing. The Defiant Ones. It's the official Trump DeFi channel. So look, I'm just I'm just giving you the bread of crumbs. I've joined it. Maybe you should as well. Now, um, in terms of elections and such, I don't know who to vote for uh, in terms of like making profitability money. But remember, money money can be moved into whatever direction, and it, and it can make it can make things look uh, even though they're not. Like for example, this was only two hundred five thousand dollars of USDC went and bought a whole lot of yes shares. Now they're in a profit of fifteen k, just like that. It's that's a decent profit in a day. Now this could have been due to just more money coming in and pushing it up because that's basically how these things work. Um, if you do want to use something like that, you can use Drifts Bet or you can use Poly Market. There's also a Hedgehog Markets on Solana as well. Back to some Tron stuff because I know that's kind of getting heated over there. I'm pretty sure it will fizzle out. If you want to play over there, play over there. Just have a plan. Like if you're going to risk $10,000, maybe like you're just going to risk $10,000. And if you lose it, if it's $1,000 or whatever, you lose it. Remember, people can round trip things so they can make 50 grand, keep on deploying it, and they can be back down to $500. That happens in meme coins. Now, according to the Tron Dow Reserve, 12,000 BTC used as HSDD, so a stable coin, reserves has been removed Recently, an all flowed into HTX, which is the exchange that um, Justin Sun part owns or has ownership in. The current supply is um, $745 million with a collateral value of $1.7 billion. $1.7 billion of that is a TRX token, which is, I don't know what, how much Justin Sun owns, but it's massive. It's like, it's sizable. Justin Sun's reply, we'll just read it. We'll just read it live. Regarding the decentralized stablecoin, debatable. Uh, its mechanism is similar to MakerDAO's die, and it's not mysterious. Uh, blah, 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 blah. My point is, if you want to look into it further, if you're going to go play over in Tron, just be aware, like, this is, he's smart. And I'm not going to say anything that's going to get me in trouble. But I wouldn't be going over with US, and I wouldn't be DeFi farming with USDD in case it loses its peg. Not sure how badly it's de-pegged before. Nothing too bad, but just keep in mind. At the same time, I don't think he's going to do anything that would uh, like risk his Tron ecosystem. Okay. Now, the big news is ME. So Magic Eden Foundation, the ME Foundation is announcing ME. It's finally come and be adopted by Magic Eden, the largest BTC DAP NFT platform and ruins DEX. The claim will be in the Magic Eden wallet. I'm a Soulflare user. I will use this to claim and then that's it. And the reason why I say this is because first, it's all you're welcome to put bandwidth into the making wallets. That's fine. And feedback will improve it. But making a really good wallet takes years. Like just my experience, it takes a long time. And this claim is specific to Magic Eden. And I'm going to say something that I know I have some kind of crypto frenzy kind of people and I respect Tiff a lot. Um, but the Magic Eden's done a thing over the years where they've really tried to push out competition or like someone had a great feature. And then they just basically took it or integrated it like open source, of course, is fine. It's allowed, but not even crediting people. It's quite the tactics that I guess a company would use quite often, but it's just 
it's kind of disappointing such a small ecosystem. Anyway, you don't have to go and import all your seed phrases and stuff in, and you definitely don't want to import your ledger seed phrase. It says there will be a system to link eligible wallets, including hardware wallets to the mobile app without importing or revealing your seed phrase. There will be more on this later. This is mobile, so not the actual desktop extension. So I'll have to see how that works. The other thing is someone's asked, I'm in the UK and I cannot actually um, download it. It's been blocked in the store. UK, I guess, has very strict regulations. I don't know how you can create another Apple ID that's linked to another company. I imagine, sorry, another country. I imagine it's possible I would YouTube it. Otherwise, if you're using Android, if you buy a quick affordable Android phone, you can do it that way. You can set up a, a Google Play in a different country. That's not too difficult. It needs to be linked to an, an email address, which is in a different country. Something along those lines or billing or whatever. Anyway, MinFest is still on. So you can earn 100K from the prize pool by minting exclusive collectibles from WIF, Michi, and Echelon. And 2x your entries by using the Magic Eden wallet. So enter this. And remember, if anyone ever wins anything, put it in the comments below so that I know that someone's won something. Now, uh, I will be honest. Nali Quinn, uh, I think I quite often unfollow him and I think my researcher keeps on following him again. There's a lot of noise that he can produce, I think. But this is fairly accurate. It's taking a dig at Magic Eden, but it's pretty accurate to be perfectly honest. So souls at $8, please help us. Magic Eden, now we Ethan Matic now. Literally how it happened. What? We made you popular. Took a they took a grant from Polygon and it just went on like this, right? Basically, when we when when Magic and Magic and also they were the guys that decided to turn off royalties in order to com be more competitive, and that was a coordinated attack with D Gods and Frank, uh, and that basically just destroyed pretty much all NFTs. So I mean, they're plusy, of course, in this market, and they had to do what they had to do in order to survive. But they were brutal about it, properly brutal. And so now uh, they're like, we're giving away free diamond points. What are they for? What is what for? They've also stopped people from farming them and, and all sorts. So am I bullish on this token? No. In fact, I can probably claim very few because you couldn't just accrue them. You had to like claim them by a particular date and whatnot. And I just didn't think that, that would be how it was done. So I, I didn't really do it. Anyway, if you're bullish on Magic Eden, great. Let me know why below and I'll consider your viewpoint. All right, the calendar, we always check our calendar. Nothing much on today. Check out uh, Jesse's airdrop guide if you're keen. Otherwise, the dupe working group progression vote, this is where, uh, this is a vote. This is a yes vote. Like anyone that's voted no, it's not, it's not a smart move. It's 150K that goes to the core working group that's divided into 15 to 30 micro grants to people to create a, an, a trial, like a basic kind of trial working group to see if they can find product market fit in order to grow the Jupiverse. And the Jupiverse is grow like it's growing. There, it's growing. It's definitely growing. Uplink's doing a good job. And the people that haven't made it, like for example, um, Reddit, the Reddit working group didn't have product market fit. It cost, it was funded with like 68,000, but it only costs around 20,000. 20, $20,000 out of a $10 million budget is, is peanuts, right? It's absolute peanuts. They returned the remainder just because it didn't work. And because the team couldn't kind of work together. Anyway, this vote, um, I've just I've just gone over it. But if you want to read it yourself, it's here. It'll be linked below as per normal. But it's a it's a smart move. It makes things a lot less friction. And remember, you have to go vote in order to get your active staking rewards. So it'll be live for four days. Go live today, 4 p.m. UTC, and it'll last for four days. Next bit of news from Flocky, all about the Simon's Cap pre-sale. I actually did a live stream at like midnight, just specifically on a couple of things. You can watch that if you like. Worth watching, to be honest. Uh, but anyway, with Flocky, long story short, like the research that went into this was just tens of hours. And the conviction paid off. It did well. They were attacked hard with a DDoS uh, attack. There was only 4,444 wallets in the champion tier that were eligible. And 37 wallets tried to bot this with millions of requests that ended up just crashing everything. So in the end, um, they took away the botters and 3,707 legitimate champion tier users. They were airdropped 55 worth, which is now worth over 500 Five hundred ish, all paid by the Flocky Treasury. So great! I mean, you stake thousand dollars worth of tokens, you got five hundred dollars worth of tokens. Now, there's just still teasing here. Uh, something big is dropping. I don't know what it is because it hasn't been dropped. It's an announcement of an announcement, and I mean, don't know what they are. But either way, you can see a lot of people are listing them. They're gaining lots of traction. Remember, very good meme coin trader. If people are gonna like poop on this guy, I don't want to use any swear words. He's done well for in three cycles with meme coins. He's done well. So this person is just pure alpha and he does it publicly. 
if I was this guy and someone was putting a whole lot of noise, I would mute them or block them because they're just not adding anything. The guy is so much more right than he's wrong. He's well worth a follow. And he's just gone and clipped in insane buying at 100 to 110 mark cap. Whereas that's where I sold a decent amount. I sold because my expectation was we dipped down a little bit. So I'd set some limit orders. I was completely wrong. Uh, I still have a little bit, of course. But basically from here to here, 150 market cap, it's almost a 9x. So 3k into like 28k along those lines. Um, but I sold at uh, about a 4, just over a 4x. So I messed up. I still have some, as I mentioned, and I did. I still want this. I still think this is a billion dollar token. Speaking of cat meme tokens, Pop gets pumped up again with Binance. I, I would like to know if anyone holds Pop and why. I know it's a Solana one and that's cool. Uh, I'm feeling that I'm just going to get rid of mine. I don't have a crazy allocation. If it's up 33 cents, I could be close to what I paid for it and I'll sell it, I think. Here is some look on chain data on WIF. This is a big whale that's uh, just been bullish on WIF and just a little bit of a random thing. Depositing it into Camino, borrowing more USDC and then buying more WIF. So just leveraging up. There's been other tactics that we've seen, maybe from him, maybe from someone else, where they've deposited a whole lot of WIF in uh, into Camino, borrowed bonk, then, um, or they've either borrowed bonk, yeah, I think they borrowed bonk, sold it for USDC, and then withdrew it to an exchange so that they kind of pushed down the price of bonk. So there's some clever whales out there, but with WIF, uh, like if it if it does a run, fantastic. I've just, I see no reason to hold it. I just don't care. Uh, up in the game with risk analytics, and they are, they are the best. They're better than Aave. They just don't have multiple blockchains. Uh, so basically, you can now see the liquidation price just nice and clearly. So if, if your assets drop to this price, boom, you're out of there. Just DeFi is, it's easy when you've been doing it for a little bit. It's hard until you actually really, really get that you need to stay nice and green. And of course, like with Sol, if Sol dips down to $80, I still don't want to be liquidated here because I still have that thesis that Sol is going to $1,000. I mentioned it all the way last year before it was cool to do so. I think I mentioned it last year. 0.15% uh, LTV as an example. And then if you, you get liquidated at 80 and so on, you can see everything here in terms of the liquidation delta. It just, it's just better analytics, so use it. Also, the Camino volume is picking up. It's gone up like 12%. So if you bought some the other day, great, you're up 12%. Still paper gains until you sell it, of course. But you can see... The, the volume is pretty decent for a token that hasn't really announced any utility other than governance. PYUSD has reached $600 million market cap. USDT is $700 million, so we'll flip this soon. If you're not using PYUSD, that's fine. Maybe it's because it's more centralized, but I don't see any risk, so I've just gone all into PYUSD. The deposit caps are margin fi are juicy as well. Of course, remember, you can just go to Lulo, and you can see who's got the, the best bang for your buck. So if you put in here, then you're just going to this is just a tutorial account. We're going to deposit and we flick this over to this one. You can see at present drift is higher than margin fi. But if you like margin fi because they've got a point system, you can flick in there. Camino is a little bit lower. Moonwalk Fitness. I talk about this quite regularly. I don't use it very much because I'll be honest, I just don't have that much time to do to reach 10,000 steps. It takes quite a bit of time. But if you do that sort of thing, you should be using Moonwalk Fitness because you, you can boost your XP. This can turn into something quite big and it's a good community thing. There's clearly going to be some sort of airdrop potential and it's something that's worthwhile. I'm still going to the gym and I'm still doing some walks, just getting like a to 10K steps is hard. If it was like a 5,000 step challenge, I could probably do those. Coliseum, they run the hackathons in the past. I think it was more like the Solana Foundation put on the hackathons. Now I think they've just basically put a budget to Coliseum and that organization does these. 600,000 in prizes and millions in pre-seed. So go build something decent. There's so many things that could be built. Most of these, of course, they have like different tracks normally. Uh, Grand Camp, Grand Champion, uh, Public Good, here, here are the tracks. So we've got Deepin. Most of these are building things. I wish there was more like content related things that actually educate people because then I'd go after those. Deepin, DeFi, DAOs and network states. Can't click on that can't click on that. Okay, well, don't know what's wrong, but check it out. Check it out and enter if you've got the skills to pay the bills. If you've got a sk certain skill set, then you can find devs to help you, right? And people, like if you organize some sort of split of the prize, they will help. The thing is, remember, when you're making these things, you put in all this time and effort to make something. And then when you make it, you use those funds to continue the product. The majority of hackathon winners just give up. And it's not just a way just to cycle through liquidity. You don't want to get a grant, then spin up a new project. You want to 
You want to make something that's decent, in my opinion. Solana Conference. Remember, get to Solana Conference. This is in Singapore. Uh, 2024. I'll be there. I'll be making some content. If you see me, come and say hi. And uh, a couple of people from my team will be there as well. So Tyler and Cassie. RSVP instructions for Mad Lads. Get into these side of a main event if you've got a Mad Lad. I do not have one, so I won't be jumping amongst it. But uh, get into all these things early because they'll fill up soon. Now we have some non-Solana related stuff uh, with a strange name, Scenarium. So this is a next-gen blockchain by Sony Group. They've chosen Chainlink as a premier launch partner. Cool, fine. But give them a follow and let's see what they're actually going to build. I mean, this at present, it's just very, very vague. But remember, uh, this is this is what it, they talk about, the vision and whatnot. So I give this a read. It is an Ethereum layer 2 next generation blockchain system. It's just another thing in the eco ecosystem of 500 layer 2s in, a, in the Ethereum ecosystem. The important thing is this is a $109 billion company. They're trying to become more relevant. And I think that works. All right, let's move on to the actionables. So 23rd of August. The Dupe core working group vote goes live 4 p.m. UTC until August 27th, 4 p.m. UTC. Do it today or tomorrow. Don't leave it to the last minute. I don't want you to miss out. Download the Magic Eden Wallet on mobile and mint dog with hat 100k price pool. But I'm going to be absolutely clear. Soulflare is my wallet of choice. Soulflare should be your wallet of choice. It's Solana specific. If you want it, like when we go and play on other blockchains, we're going to use a blockchain specific wallet. It just makes more sense. Put it through my head. It works. Use Flocky Trading Bot to buy some cat. You'll get a little bonus. You will be paying some fees though. If you want some cat, of course, watch my video on that Flocky Trading Bot. Finish round two for Miss Bonk. Stake a milli bonk in bonkrewards.com. And airdrop actionables. $100 of Flocky on BB or ETH until final snapshot or Biden Binance. And remember, um, just the usual ones. Jito Soul, Soul, Me Pool for Met Points, NX Finance. You can follow Fabiano's guide there. I mentioned a few days ago, but it'll be linked below as well. And today's the last day to verify your wallet in grass. That's all today. Thanks very much for tuning in. Catch you in the next video.